coming at thy footstool, O Lord. We, we ask you, O Lord, that you may tabernacle with us. O Lord, we ask you for the presence of your Holy Spirit. And we pray, O Lord, as we bow down before you, as we call upon your name, O Lord, that you will enter in the midst of our hearts, O Lord, wherever we are this morning. O Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you, O Lord, for allowing us this opportunity to be in the land of the living one more time. And O Lord, despite our circumstances, earns, Lord, we ask you in the name of Jesus, O Lord, we ask you, O God, that you may stretch forth your hands towards us. Lord, we ask you to forgive us of all our sins. Lord, we ask you in a mighty and a special way, Lord, to bless each one of us who are here this morning. Those who will join as the day continue to go on, O oh Lord. We thank you for the bread in our bodies. Lord, we thank you for our sinews, that the blood that continues to flow through them, O oh Lord. And we ask you, O oh most gracious Savior, that, O oh Lord, that you would give us wisdom and knowledge and understanding as we speak amongst ourselves. O oh Lord, we pray for those who are still sick, Lord, those who are still facing this, Lord, we need you in a very special way. And, O oh Lord, will you bless us and guide us through our service this morning. We praise you and we worship you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen.
Our prayer points this morning are as follows. We're praying for health and healing for Sister Jessica Knowles. We're praying for mother and daughter of Brother Eric Stewart, Sydney Stirrup, who's been battling cancer for 10 to 15 years, Ms. Green on the reactive thyroid and high blood pressure, Faith Alec, William Gibbs, Kevin Ferguson, Pauline and family, Jack Sturb, Elaine Barrett, Sean Hilo, Randy Lewis, Timothy Gibson, Marcel Diana Rowell, Judy Johnson, COVID-19 infected, Robert, Roberta Sands, COVID-19 infection, Waltham Hope, Earl Simon, and we have a special prayer request for all Rick Dean, prayers against demonic possession. And family, Laurie Miller, prayers for family, Roderick Rule, death of a cousin, Tris Adley, death of husband, Alicia Ramming, death of father, Roach family, death of pastor Roach, Noah's family, death of husband, Naomi, Tiffany Miller, asks for prayers for faith and strength, for her, her daughter, and also for that her son would surrender to Christ. Also praying for the clearing of highly hazardous air quality in our area, praying that that would be um, uh, cleared. Lorraine Leith, spiritual strength. Dorothy May, Herburn family in San Salvador, Kiana Miller, Valentino Bevins and family, Bert and Sister Hansel Moss praying for salvation. And we're also um, asking for prayers for a missing elderly, um, elderly man. He went missing sometime yesterday. Um, his name is V. Roy Dawkins. Okay. Thank you. Dawkins. Thank you very much, Elder Forbes. You have heard our prayer list, and as we pray, I want you to be mindful of that, though, that list. Uh, in fact, this is called prayer meeting. So we come to pray. Amen. And the scripture says, do not be anxious about everything, anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. So God wants us to pray. He wants us to come to him with our big problems, with our little challenges. Whatever we have, God wants us to bring it to him. And he said that we should come what? With boldness, with confidence, knowing that he will hear and answer our prayer. So for the next 20 minutes, we are going to be engaged in praying. What do I say we are going to be? Praying. So as many of you as can get into that 20 minutes, you are we are going to pray. And I don't want after once somebody finish, we're waiting as if, oh, I don't want to pray this morning. Come on now, it's prayer meeting time. So we are going to pray okay so god is waiting to do an awesome thing in this place this morning so let's begin to trouble the throne room of god this morning open your mic and speak with confidence to god this morning let's get on Gracious, kind, and loving Father, 
God, we are so grateful and thankful that you have spared our life to see another day. Oh God, we bless your great name. We exalt you and we praise you because you are God, you are King. Lord, you can do anything but fail. Lord, as I come before your presence, I seek your forgiveness this morning of my sins. God, your word has said all of sin and fall short of the glory of God. And I pray for every person on this connection this morning that you'll forgive our sins. Cleanse all our devices that we use as we send up our petition to you this morning. Oh God, we just want to lift up the list before you that Brother Ramon has read. God, you've heard all their names. You have heard all their conditions. God, you know what each person is facing. Those who are of sick with cancer and other ailments. Those who are missing. Oh God, those who need help, maybe a job, mortgage to pay, rent to pay, financial difficulties. God, they are all on that list. Father, you know every name, you know every address, and I give them to you. I lift it up on the wings of heaven this morning, and I ask Almighty God that you will intervene in every situation this morning, oh God. Oh, Father, you know all the needs this morning. Yes, Lord. Almighty God, we give them to you, Jesus. Oh God, we give you our heart this morning. We give you our mind. Oh God, we ask that you will help us, Lord, and transform us. Oh God, help us to live for you daily, Jesus. I pray, dear God, that in the midst of everything, God, that the greatest need that we have is you, Jesus. We mm. need you. We need you. And we need to draw closer to you. Mm. Oh, God, help us to live for you, Lord. We pray, oh, God, as we come seeking you, God, because we know that you are only help. You are our only source in this time, oh, God. Mm. And I ask, dear Lord, whatever is keeping us apart from you, God, that you will help us to draw closer, oh, God, to you. Because we are living in this last and evil days. We don't know. Tomorrow is not promised to any one of us, Lord Jesus. And so, God, help us to live our life as if it's the last. And so, God, I give each person to you this morning. Oh, yes. And I pray, God, for every man or woman who connected to the power, which is Jesus Christ this we morning. Pray. Have your way in our life. Have your way in our situation. Have your way in our leaders. Have your way in our countries, Lord. Oh, Lord. oh God, we ask that you'll touch down, Jesus. Oh, God, do only what you can do for us this morning. Help us to open our mouth and cry out to you, Jesus, because oh, yes. this is no time to have pride and keeping back. This is the time to cry out. Prostrate before you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we Have your way upon us, Lord. Have your way in our life, Lord. Have your way in our family, Lord. Remember my children, Lord. Remember my family, Jesus. Remember me. Oh, God, have mercy upon us. Oh, yes, Lord. Jesus, we're calling upon you this morning. Yes, we God, pray. we have no one else but you jesus <laughs> and oh god i pray god that you will be with us oh, stretch doors. out your mighty hands oh god this morning yes. oh god we pray yes, that Lord. god when you shall come we will not left out Never oh god have your way this morning in the life be with our mm. pastor be with our leaders oh god have mm. your way in them. Give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We pray, God. God, I pray for this kind of special way, God. Oh, God, I ask that you'll touch her this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that young lady who was uh, here lifted for the operation, Jesus, be with mm -hmm. her. Cover in the blood of Jesus this morning. I 
I present every family on this prayer line. Yes. Cover them in the blood of Jesus. We ask for your divine protection, O oh, Almighty God, over each person this morning. Yes. And we thank you, God. We praise you and we glorify your name because I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It's prayer time. Amen. Triggers the blessed hour of prayer. When our hearts slowly bend and we gather to Jesus, our Savior and friend. Yes. If we come to him in faith, his protection to share. Oh, oh what a bond for the very. Oh, yes. Oh, how sweet to be there. Most gracious. God and our dear loving Heavenly Father, Father, as we thy children come before you one more time. Father, we come this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, asking for your forgiveness, O oh God. We come asking for your cleansing. Lord, we come asking you to wash us from all oh, our Lord, we pray. Oh God, and this morning as we come. We pray in the name of Jesus, asking yes. the Lord to please, please don't pass us by. Not at all. While another star was calling, Lord, don't pass us by. Father God, we have in Jesus. Yes. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forward. On, oh, sister. what needless mm -hmm. pain we bear, all because we do not carry everything, everything to God in prayer. Yes. Oh, Father, we come this morning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I come this morning, we come this morning agreeing with every person on this prayer line. God, yes. you say we are two or three come together in your name. You promise to bless. So we pray in the name of Jesus that you'll look down in mercy upon everyone on this oh, prayer yes, line this Lord. morning, every family crying out to you this morning for help because we know that our help only cometh from the Lord oh, yes. who made this heaven and earth. Only the Lord. God, bring that list of prayer persons before you this morning. Hallelujah. Father God, you look low and you see the list. You see the names. You know them each by name. You mm. know them by nature. You know who they are. You know where they are born. Lord, oh, Lord, you know the circumstances of their problems. Yes. God, I present them to you in a special way this morning. Mm. Father God, I know, Lord God, you heals, oh yes. God. You are the one who yeah, can take care of every situation. So yes. we commit every one of those names to you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, have your way and have your will, Lord, because we know that you do all things well. And yes. it's not your Lord, it's not your will though, that we these be sick or these persons be sick. All. It's your will mm. that we be in perfect health. Oh yes, Lord. Because oh God, you say this. You want us to be in perfect health, O oh God. Father God, we pray this morning that each one of us would commit our, ourselves to you and keep our hearts and our minds stayed on you. That yes, our sir. heart will be a, in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. I pray a special prayer this morning for the government of this country, O oh oh, God. Yes, Lord. I pray for the nation. I pray for the opposition. I pray for all, O oh God, who are in a Authority. Yes, I pray Lord. in the name of Jesus that you will give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yes. God, because only wisdom only comes from you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. We Lord, pray. we thank you. We praise you. We bless your name. And we leave everything in your hand, oh God, for your safekeeping. Because we're only safe in you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father in heaven. Go ahead. Eternal and all wise Heavenly Father, this morning, dear God, we come before oh, yes. you with grateful, thankful hearts. Mm -hmm. Lord, we are so privileged to call you our Father. We're coming because you bid us to come. Yes. You've told to come boldly before your throne of grace because it's there that we find the help that we need. Mm -hmm. And Father, today, now more than ever, we recognize our desperate need of you. And so, Lord, you have seen the 
on her the names that have led today mm -hmm. for the various concerns, whether it's medical, physical, emotional, and Lord, there are even unspoken requests. Mm -hmm. But Lord, you know hearts and you know the desires of our hearts. You've also told us to be anxious for nothing, but with prayer and supplication, we ought to make our requests known to you. You've told us to cast all of our cares upon you because you care for oh, us. Oh, Father, and you Father, care think to know that you are concerned about each and every one of us. You see us as individuals, as your child, one whom you love, who you died for, and who you are concerned about, and who you will be coming back soon to receive. And so, Father God, I pray for the many families that are represented on this prayer line today. We pray for our entire church family, wherever they may be there, God. I ask their father that as we see the time drawing near that we will draw closer to you and to each other. Yes. I pray, oh God, that if there be any sin in our lives, Lord, that we will confess and forsake all sin and all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. I pray there, God, that there be nothing between our souls and you, nothing that will hinder you from hearing our prayers, oh God. I pray, Father, that as a people, we will humble ourselves before you and recognize, dear God, that you are an awesome, mighty, and powerful God. And you're not going to leave your children alone to wander in despair and fear and mm -hmm. anguish. God, you are there for us because you've promised to never leave us nor to forsake us. And everything that is happening in our lives and around us, dear God, mm -hmm. is not catching you by surprise or without your awareness. Mm -hmm. Because you knew before time, this time mm -hmm. would be. And so forth, I pray that this be a time, even though it's a time of testing for many of us, I pray that our faith does not fail. But instead, their God, we will look to you, the author and finisher of our faith, knowing their God that you hold your word above your name and you are such that you cannot lie. Mm -hmm. So I ask their God that give us and help us to be a people of hope, be a people of encouragement, and to know their God, that you are real, your word is real, and we can mm -hmm. hold you to your word. So I pray today, their God, that all who may be discouraged or depressed or despondent, to turn to the word of God, and yes. to know their God, that there's hope in your word, there's healing in your word, there's power yes. in your word, there's forgiveness in your word. Whatever mm -hmm. we need, God, you have supplied it already. Yes. So we're just going to thank you. We're just going to praise you. We're just going to magnify your name because you are worthy of all of our praises. And Lord, whatever we fail to ask, we ask that you grant it to us. In the name of Jesus, we do pray and thank you. Amen. 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 Father in heaven, Lord, as we pause for a few more moments in your hallowed presence. Mm -hmm. God, we thank you for life and health. Mm -hmm. and Yes, Lord. We thank you for your word that reminds us, God, that it is in you that we live more and have our world. And so, Father, as we bow today, we know that we are coming before an all-sufficient God, a God yes, who is able sir. to do abundantly mm -hmm. about more than we can ask or think. And so, Father, I pray that you would see us in our realness and Forgive us if we transgress your law in any way. Oh, Lord. Father, I thank you for your word that reminds us that you have mm -hmm. called us to purity and to holiness and to walk according to your commandments. And so, Father, I pray that you would indeed sprinkle us, shower us with the clean water of your word today. Mm -hmm. Purify us not only on the outside, but on the inside father i pray that you would indeed um water us and refresh our souls today father i pray that you would give us the gift of not only forgiveness but the gift of repentance that as we draw close to you father we would indeed be ever reminded um, that we serve a holy god we serve a god that knows and understands all of our needs oh yes and that we can never burden you with our request and so father i pray that as we 
lay our request before you today, Father. You've seen the names, the mm -hmm. situations, and Father, some my question: um, Why has it been so long? Where what? But Father, we know that you are the same place that you have been. I mean, your son was on Calvary, dying for the sins of the world. Oh yes. And so, Father, we know that you. You understand our situations better than we understand them ourselves. And so, Father, we pray that as you answer our prayer, it Hallelujah. will be according to your will. Oh, yes. For, Father, we know that you know what is best for us, and you will hold no good thing from mm -hmm. your children. That's true. And so, Father, I pray that you would answer our prayer today. Mm -hmm. according to your will. And so, Father, we lift up these situations before you. In our eyes, Father, some of them may seem impossible. But, Father, you have told us in your word but that with you, nothing shall be impossible. Mm -hmm. And so, Father, we come um, expecting you to do that for us, which we cannot do for ourselves. And so, Father, I pray that you would open doors of opportunity today for those um, that need a financial breakthrough. Oh, Lord, I we pray. I pray that you would send your words, speak healing to those that may be sick and suffering in any way. Father, you mm. have promised that your word will not return to you void. And so, Father, I pray that your word will accomplish the thing that you have sent it for today and that you might speak peace to some heart today. Thank you for the opportunity to witness, Father. Mm -hmm. uh, my prayer is that as we go to the remainder of this new and untried day, this week, God, that our lives be lived in such a way that it brings honor and glory to you. Yes. And so, Father, I pray that even in our life living, we might lift up Jesus. You said if you were lifted up from the earth, you will call men unto you. And so, Father, we look with hope um, to the to the testimonies that will come mm -hmm. of how great you have worked in these prayer meetings. We thank you for the testimonies past, and we look for the testimonies future of how you have blessed and answered the prayer of your children. And so, Father, we thank you and praise you for all that you have done and all that you will do. These mercies, Father, we ask and say thanks because we ask them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Our 20 minutes are almost gone, but we're giving priority to pray. And Sister Sands and Sister Vernell are waiting and we will receive their prayers this morning. We just have two minutes in the 20, but we are taking those two prayers, Sister Sands and Sister Vernell. Most loving and eternal Father. Most right. In the precious and loving name of your son, Jesus. Father God, we come to you this morning, God, with a grateful heart, dear God. We yes. come thanking you, Lord, even for waking mm -hmm. us up this morning, dear God, mm -hmm. and allowing us to see a brand new day. Father, we ask for your forgiveness <clears throat> of our sins, Father. Mm -hmm. And God, we say thank you, Lord. We thank you for forgiving us, dear God. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come presenting every request lord we come standing on your word father and we believe dear god that you have already answered oh, yes. our prayers lord god yes and father we say thank you for each and every person every mm -hmm. family on the prayer line this yes. morning families with god i pray in the name of jesus even for the ones that are not saved father mm -hmm. Father, the ones who have no hope, Lord God, mm -hmm. the ones who are asking, where are you, God, in a time mm -hmm. like this, God? Mm -hmm. Father, I have talked to so many family members, friends, Lord, and Father God, it seems like there is, they have no hope. But I mm -hmm. pray in the name of Jesus, in dear the name God, of that Jesus, yes. you would assure them, dear God, that you are God, and besides you, there is no other God. And Father God, even though it may seem dark, but you have still been providing for them, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that they would just surrender, Father. So many, Lord God, mm. uh, they have, they have, 
they have just have lost like everything they're gone. They, 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 like they're in darkness. But Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would Amen. allow your light to shine forth in their lives, Lord, mm -hmm. Lord God. And I pray that they would accept you before it be a day too late, Father mm -hmm. God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray, Lord, for peace of mind, Lord. I pray mm -hmm. for your sweet peace. Yes. Even upon us, Lord, sometimes, Lord, we have doubts. Even as Christians, dear God, but Father, you said to cast every care upon you, Lord, for you care it for us, Lord God. Yes. So, Father, this we just thank you and we praise you, Lord God. In Jesus' I pray. Amen. Amen. Come Most on. righteous and eternal, mm -hmm. Father God, mm -hmm. as I humbly come before this morning, Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. Yes. Lord, we are nothing without you, Lord. As we present the list with all the names, dear Lord God, Mm -hmm. You know just what to do with it, Lord God. Cover each and every one under the blood, dear God. Bless and keep and guide them, especially the sick, dear Jesus. Lord, as I call upon your name, dear Lord, and the ones who need all the help, dear Jesus, help us as we can help others, dear Lord God. As I call upon your name, I'm going to give you honor, glory, and praise, Lord God. I thank you for each and every one of us in his prayer meeting. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord, guide and keep. Take us in your holy precious name. Amen. Our Father and our God, we bow ourselves to you this morning. We are the first to acknowledge that we are not good. Our righteousness before you are like filthy rags. But, oh God, we plunge into that cleansing stream that flows from Calvary's cross. Songwriter says it well, there is power in the blood. So wash me now without within. Are purged with fire, if not must be. Oh God, whatever it takes, to just give us a blessing. Those 52 persons who are listening to devices that are plugged in this morning to this system, each person comes to this meeting this morning because they believe in the efficacy of prayer. So God, this morning, I just randomly call some names this morning that you have put in my heart. I God, I remember Sister Cherie's role on our family as they battle with their sister right now. Oh God, I pray that you will just stand by them. I know God, the pain when we feel helpless is like we want to do something, but we just can't do it because there's nothing we can do. It's all up to you. So I pray God this morning that you will just, just give them that kind of assurance and that embrace that you care for them. And then God, remember Genevieve, Genevieve Stirrup. God, I don't know for what reason that she may be interested to join us this morning, but God, you see the desires of our heart. You understand our cry and our pain. And, oh God, you have heard the praises from our lips. God, come true for her this morning. Do the same for Nika and Charlene Victor. God, you are the great provider. You are the, the, the protector. You are the God who can open doors that some men have closed on opportunities for individuals. But oh God, Charlene and Nika may need doors open for them this morning. I pray God that you will open those doors of opportunity for them today. 
And then, oh God, remember Oakland. Remember Oakland. I'm God, glad, God, that you collect tears in bottles. That tells me that you intimately care about our needs. Remember Oakland and our family. Oh God, Sister Constance Lewis, from morning after morning, she joined us on this line. Thank you for our support. And God, I pray that you will bless her this morning with the desires on our heart. I lift up her husband also before you. Continue to be a source of strength to them, O oh God. Minister to all their needs. O oh God, Francis and Paulette, O oh Father, you have heard their cry, and you are saying to them this morning that in a little while their requests will be granted. In a little while, things are going to be better. In a little while, the struggle will be over. Oh God, I pause to remember Sean Stewart and the Stewart family. It has been a long battle, but it has been a battle of courage and faith. As I see the parents hold faith and their hope surge in you over their child, God, each time they go to the emergency room, I feel their pain. And I know you feel their pain as well, Father. But they are soldiering through this. They are depending on you as a life giver. They are depending on you as the healer. Sean is your child. And oh God, from their testimony, I know You've got this. You've got their back. So now, God, I ask you to show them one more time this morning divine favor. Touch the body of Sean this morning. God, you can reverse his situation. You can reverse his problem, oh God. God, I know you can do it. I have seen... You have done some miraculous things in the past. God, I have seen you turn mad people sane. I have seen you have turned drunkard, uh, addicted individual to be preachers. I have seen people, oh God, who have been sick and been cast off to death by the doctors rebound. God, you can change Sean's situation. And I'm confident, God, that you are changing. Continue to give courage to the parents this morning. Then, oh God, I pray for my pastor, Pastor Alvarico Moss, his wife and his daughter. Oh God, as a wife works in the hospital where there is virus and all kind of infection, God, protect her. They gave her personal protective equipment, but God, they are nothing without you. So I pray, God, that you will just surround her this morning. Cleanse her. Sanitize our environment. Sanitize her, oh God. Keep away evil forces from our family. And give our pastor the strength and the courage and the assurance, oh God, that you care. I thank you this morning for my own family. I thank you, O oh God, for the needs of others this morning, those who have done surgery, those who, oh God, were looking for a breakthrough in their financial situation. Do it, O oh Father. You are able. You are the waymaker. 
We give you thanks this morning for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mary Sue. Good morning. Our speaker for this morning is our very own Pastor Alba Rico Moss. Let's say a prayer for him in our hearts as he comes with God's word this morning. Just before he comes, Sister Brittany will bless us with another special item of music. In prisoner chains, we believe in Christ. Paul and Son, let's pray that night and in their pain begin. The chains will lose and they were free. I bless your name, I bless your name, I give you honor, I give. Stubbs for her beautiful words of introduction and Sister Lundy for that wonderful special. I hope that you are doing well this morning. I think the mere fact that we have life, we can give God thanks. The mere fact that we have life, we can give God thanks. Amen. Just, Amen. Just before we get into the word, let's just um, bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father, be with us in the word. 
guide our minds. May your word speak through us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, through scripture, we have learned so much about God and his character through miraculous events. We have Moses parting the Red Sea, and we learned that God is a way maker. We have manna dropping from heaven, and in that experience, we've learned that God is a provider. With five loaves and two fishes, um, with him feeding the 5,000, we learned that God is a sustainer. With Elijah on Mount Carmel, uh, with that um, event, we learned that God is all powerful. This morning, we have lessons from the fig tree. This morning, we have a lesson from the fig tree. Turn me in your Bible to um, Mark 11, verses 20 to 21, if you have it near you, or you could just simply... Um, Look at it at another time. Mark eleven first Mark chapter eleven verses twenty to twenty one. Scripture says, and in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter calling to remembrance said and said, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursed is with the way. Here we have Jesus and his disciples standing over a dead, dried up fig tree. And you're probably wondering, well, what kind of message can come from a decomposed tree that has no value, that has no importance, that has no life? You see, this particular path Jesus and his disciples had taken before, and Jesus at first saw the fig tree and went to go and get something from it to eat. But to his surprise, the tree had leaves, was alive and well, but it had no fruit. Scripture says, and seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came. And if happily he might find anything thereon, and when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs was not yet. So you'll probably say, well, what did Jesus do? He said to it, no one will ever eat fruit from you again. Now, stick with me this morning. I, I'm trying to set the stage first to understand where I'm going with this. His disciples thought that he just spoke mere words. His disciples thought that he just spoke maybe out of anger. His disciples thought that they were just simply listening to Jesus say a few uh, words to a, a, a tree sitting before them. His disciples thought his words probably fell on deaf ears because trees couldn't hear. His disciples thought Jesus was just simply making an analogy. But Jesus understood the power of words. He understood the power in a promise. I don't know if you're beginning to see where I'm going with this. You see, Jesus spoke to a tree. Jesus made a promise to the tree. He said to it, no one will ever eat fruit from you again. Now we fast forward to the current scene where Jesus and his disciples are looking at the same alive, now dead fig tree. What was its condition? How did it appear? What was the state of this now fig tree? The fig tree which you cursed, Peter said, has withered. I want to say this morning that there is good news from a dead tree. I, I hope that you're still tuned in and that you're still connected because there is a word for us this morning. I want to tell you this morning that there is good news from a dead tree. If a promise, follow with me, if a promise that is made to a tree that to us seems insignificant, unimportant, and irrelevant is kept, how much more me and you? You may, uh, if you may allow me to remind some of, the, some of the words that Jesus spoke to us. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. His promises will be kept. Your bread and water 
shall be sure. His promises will never fail. He says, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand, my strongest hand. His promises are as sure as the promise kept to the fig tree. His disciples were in shock. They couldn't believe what they were seeing with their own eyes. I want to let someone know this morning that this tree is dying proof that God's word will never return to a void. So if God keeps a promise to a fig tree, how much more his own creation he came down from heaven who he formed with his own eyes. Oh, church friends, there is a lesson from this dead fig tree. Scripture continues in Mark 11, verse 22 and, and 23. Jesus replied, how fair God constantly. He says, I assure you, most solemnly say to you. He's saying to us, listen to us. He said it to the tree. Now he's saying to us, he says, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart and God's unlimited power. But believes that he's but but believes what he says is going to take place, it will be done for him in accordance to God's will. What mountains are you faced with this morning that needs to be moved? Which overwhelming situation has you feeling that God seems silent? Brother and I want to implore us this morning, think about the fake tree. If he can do it for the tree, come on on somebody. I don't know if you're understanding if you're getting the word this morning. If he can do it for a tree, he can do it for us. If you're doubting that God, if you're doubting that God can heal you, just think about the tree. If you're, if you're doubting he can provide that job that you've been waiting for, just think about that tree. If you are doubting that he can work out your marriage, just think about that tree. I don't know what you may be going through or second guessing God on, but I'm just telling you this morning, just think about the tree. If he can keep a promise to a tree, oh, brother, I am sure he will keep a promise to me and you this morning. You know, C.S. Lewis said, Believing things on authority only means believing them because you have been told them by someone you think is trustworthy. 99% of these things you believe are believed on authority. Follow with me. He says, I believe it because reliable people have told me so. I believe there is such a place as New York. I could not prove by absolute stark reasoning there is such a place but because i am told by reliable sources i believe it the ordinary person believes in the solar system atoms and the circulation of blood on authority because the scientist every historical event is believed on authority none of us have seen the norman conquest or the defeat of the squ of the spanish armada but be we believe them simply because people who did see them have left writings to tell us about them in fact on authority this morning we have this fig tree telling us on authority that god's word is sure god's word is potent god's word is faithful oh church friends there is a lesson from this fig tree verse 24 says jesus says for this reason i am telling you whatever you ask for in prayer in accordance with god's will believe with confident trust that you have received them and they will be given to you. It's Eve Church friends. I don't believe that prayer meeting is trivial. I don't believe that we waste time praying for situations and circumstances over and over and over. Every morning we hear the prayer list. 
You see, I don't believe prayer is meaningless words to a God who can't hear. Because just like that fig tree, my breakthrough will come. My healing will come. My prayers will be answered. My cloudy days, there will be sunshine. Peter said, even the roots, Lord, is dried up. There is a lesson from this dead fig tree this morning that God is faithful, that God will keep his word. I don't know about you, but don't get weary praying for your deliverance. Don't get tired praying for that mother, that brother, that sister, or that uncle. Don't get frustrated looking forward to that home that you've been praying for. Because one day, one day, church family, we'll be able to say like Peter, Look, Lord, I remember what you said before, and it has come to past. Brethren, as we continue these prayer meetings, as we continue to get up every morning for 6 a.m., placing our prayer requests at God's feet, as we continue to petition Him every week and every day for our loved ones, if there is ever a moment that we forget or we feel doubtful that God will come through, just remember the promise he kept to that fig tree. I know that he will keep the promise to each and every one of us this morning. Let's continue to remember the lesson from the fig tree. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. Dear God, we thank you once again for another opportunity to come towards, come before you collectively. We leave this meeting in confidence that you have heard our petitions and that answers are on the way. Father, we pray for our increased strength as we continue on. We pray for this new week as we go in. And Father, most of all, we ask for endurance to remain faithful and to allow you to do what you see fit. Father, bless everyone here on this line and send us all out with charge of hearts and minds to take on this new week and father may we hold on to your ever non-changing hand and trust in your ability to provide what is best for us this we ask in your son jesus name amen amen amen